Are you too busy to day trade? Is day trading too fast, too risky for you? Well, swing trading might be perfect for you. Welcome back to another Humble Trader video. Today, we have a highly requested topic, how to start swing trading. Most of you have watched my day trading videos, but that's never enough. You just want more. If you're new to the channel, my name is Shay, aka Humboldt Trader. You're about to learn a lot of trading tips from beginner to pro trading strategies. So make sure to subscribe and smash the like button. What is swing trading? Swing trading means taking a trade that may take a couple of days, weeks, or months to develop. So should you day trade or swing trade? Hear me out. In swing trading, you don't need a precise entry. It is more suitable for those who are busy working 9 to 5, parents, or part-time traders. It may require less screen time, less time sitting in front of computers. But a mature swing trader definitely spends a lot more time researching. However, since you are holding through a longer time horizon, you do have more exposure to overnight market risk. Be careful. Stay attentive to the macro environment changes and read the news. In swing trading, you may have to use a wider risk, but at the same time, you might be set for a potentially bigger reward. So, how do you start swing trading? Step number one, always analyze from the bigger time frames, especially on the daily chart. So you can see on my screen here, when I'm day trading, I have my daily chart and my intraday chart side by side. However, when I'm swing trading, I always ignore the intraday chart, so get rid of that, and only look at the daily chart and the weekly chart. For me, when I'm swing trading, I like to use a daily time frame if I'm swinging for just a couple of days, or on a higher time frame to the weekly chart if I decide to hold it for a little bit more than a week. And generally speaking, you should be analyzing your stock, for example, QQQ here, on the daily or the weekly chart, like how you analyze one intraday for day trading. Looking at the weekly charts here for QQQ, my basic analysis will be, we are now retesting the weekly key support right here. You can see this wick here on the QQQ in the beginning of 2021. That's also a level that we're retesting right now. We broke it previously in May and June of this year from the very bearish market, and now we made um, a higher low. So far, we're trying to hold a 300 mark. So on the QQQ, if we break down a 300, technically speaking, we're gonna go and retest this lows here, 270s, and that's pretty much the daily 200 SMA on the daily chart. Once again, all the same concepts of support and resistance from the intraday chart will apply on the weekly chart when you are trying to swing trade. So we talked about a key level here on the 300. Above it, we have the resistance around 330s right here. And that's going to be the previous resistance that we rejected and now we're selling off. And below, we have support around the 270s area that we just talked about. Also matching the 200 SMA on the daily chart. Now keep this support and resistance levels in mind because we're going to come back and use them as entry point and exit later on. And now that we're zooming out on the weekly chart, there's another thing that I almost missed. And that's the big downtrend that we're seeing that all the way started from December of 2021. Now, if you draw a trend line from the highs from December 2021, you can see the wicks of the candlesticks on the weekly candles. They line up to form this major downtrend, which we tested once and twice, second time around on this so-called dead cap bounce on the market. So this kind of bigger downtrend trend is definitely one that you should look out for if you are swing trading. Step number two in swing trading, timing your entries and exits. Now that we have the major support and resistance and the really big downtrend on the weekly chart drawn out, it's time for us to zoom into the daily chart and find our entries. So looking at the daily chart, so you can see that we have the same downtrend, support, key level down here at 300, resistance 330, support at 270s. Now, if I'm looking for a short entry on the stock using the downtrend that we have, then I would preferably let the stock to retest the downtrend on the daily, the really big weekly downtrend for an entry. So if I was short bias, I want to look for as close to that area as possible, around 320s mark. 
So that will be one area of entry. The other alternative will be to wait for the breakdown of key level at $300. Now, you have to understand, especially on the daily chart, stocks don't just crack key level right away. Remember what we talk about in a lot of the price action commentaries and the tutorial lessons I've done before? A lot of times, stocks will crack the key level, bounce around a couple of times, try to bounce, and then crack again. So what you want if you are a swing trader, especially if you're looking for more downside to 270s, then I want to see the stock consolidate around 300s mark, especially if it makes lower highs and crack again. So I want to get in short on the second or the third breakdown of $300. So that will look something like this on the daily candle here. You can see the stock retested once, twice, three, four times before cracking once again. And same thing here and here again. So that's what you want to look for this time around if you were decided to swing short the stock. If you're enjoying the video so far and want to see more swing trading strategies on the channel in the future, make sure to comment swing trading down below and I'll make that happen. And don't forget to smash the like button to make it rain. Lamborghinis. So once again for this demo, key level 300 on the stock, either entry short on the breakdown of key level or the retest of the downtrend from the weekly chart and the ultimate price target will be closer to the areas of 280s and 270s. And all of this are determined by our support and resistance analysis, especially the key levels. If you need a more in-depth lesson on support and resistance step by step, then make sure to check out this other video I made in the past. Step 3. Planning out your risk reward in swing trading. In swing trading, we generally aim for at least 1 to 3 risk reward, meaning if we're risking a dollar, we want to see the potential of making $3 or well, ideally more. So in this example, let's say we are using this area as a short entry at 320, then your risk cannot just be right at 320 or 321. You need to, add to give this at least some room to test the previous resistance at 323. So that's potentially a 3 to 4 points risk for you. But at the same time, your downside is a lot greater as well. So that means your reward is also bigger. So if I enter the stock short at 320, my downside could be potentially $300 or below. So that's how you plan out your risk reward. Yes, it is a lot wider, but you have a lot greater um, reward as well. So same idea here. If you shorted the breakdown of 300 that we talked about, for a lot of room to a downside to 280 or 270s, if I entered in this zone here, right, all the support and resistance are areas or zones of entry and exit, then I need to risk the previous higher day candles around 307. So if I entered here 301, that's a potential of $6 risk right there. So you need to make sure everything's planned out, know your risk, and know whether the reward is worth that risk. So if I'm risking $6, then what potential be able to make $18 or more. Can we make that? Let's see. 301 all the way to a downside, 280, that's already more than $18. So these two trades will be worth it for the risk reward. Step number four in swing trading, know your fundamentals. In day trading, there are traders who can trade without knowing the fundamentals or the news of the stock, and that's fine. However, in swing trading, fundamental research is more and more important. Generally speaking, the longer your time horizon is, the more important the fundamentals are, especially if you're swing trading individual stocks. If you're holding a stock for a couple of weeks or a couple of months, you will want to know about the earnings date, whether the stock has any FDA approval news or drug trials if those are biotech companies, you need to make sure you do your due diligence. This actually happened to me once where I'm swing trading with a biotech small cap stock and I didn't do my research. Everything was based on technicals and three weeks in, the stock had a huge drop of 50% because guess what, one of their drug trials failed. That's also the reason I almost never swing trade micro cap stocks. I mean micro cap stocks. But I would say if you are swing trading ETFs that track the indices like the QQQ or the SPY, your exposure to fundamental news is a lot less. However, then you are exposed to macro environments. 
If you're still watching to this point here, I have a little reward for you. I'm gonna be showing you some examples of swing trading planning that's only available for the Humble Trader community. On the screen here, this is Oren, and he is our swing trading coach for the Humble Trader members. And here are some examples of his swing trading research and his position plans over here. Um, here's one that I really want to highlight for Oxy. This is a great trade uh, in which he was long and bullish on the oil and energy sector. So this is an example of what the planning looks like. At the time of his planning, the stock is trading at $68. And he will list out the ticker, the macro environment, and whether he's bullish or bearish on the stock. And he'll list out his thesis and plan an entry behind it. The thesis is oil companies refusing to increase the output to keep the oil prices high. So that'll be good for the stock. So if using shares, he has an entry point. Sometimes he uses options as well, but none is a available for this ticker. Now the potential stop loss will be $60. So like we said earlier, that's a wider risk. His entry is at 6650s. His potential price target is $680 to over $100. This is a very aggressive plan. But at the same time, if you look at all the risk and reward, it's really, really worth it. And also, this is a quick update of his swing trading positions. He's already sold partial of the oxy positions, and there are the rest. He has some um, short positions open and some long positions on both equities and options. And this is just the performance for this quarter. Oren also shares a swing trading tracker with our members. If you're interested in learning more advanced swing trading strategies, then check out the Humble Trader community down below or go ahead and comment what you would like me to share in the next few videos. I read every single comment whether it's about day trading or swing trading. And I appreciate each one of you who has subscribed and smashed the like button. Thank you guys so much for watching as always. I'm the Humble Trader and I will see you guys next time.